Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode from Network From Home. Today, we'll be talking about how to backup and restore your router settings. And this is something that I think everybody should know how to do. And I think it's something, quite frankly, that everybody should do. Just having a copy of your router settings saved is a good insurance policy in case something unforeseen happens. And there are other benefits too, to backing up your router. So let's go through those really quickly before I show you the steps. First of all, if you have to perform a factory reset of your router, you would have to normally go in and make every single change to your router that you had previously made if you wanted to perform the same way that it was before the factory reset. So what's interesting and useful about a copy or having a copy of your router settings is that if you factory reset your router, you can load your router settings back into your router and it will perform just like it did before the factory reset. So you save a bunch of time that you would normally spend changing all the settings that you previously changed. The second thing is having a backup of your router settings also gives you freedom to experiment. And what I mean by that is you can save your router settings at a point in time when you know that it's working and it's working well. So that way, if you want, you can go ahead and make further changes to your router and you can experiment further. And if something breaks or your performance downgrades, all you have to do is restore that router setting file and it will go back to the way it was working before. So it really gives you that sense of comfort that you can get very aggressive or you can get a little experimental with your router settings. And that's a nice thing to have. And then lastly, as I mentioned before, it's just a good insurance policy. You never know what's gonna to happen to your router. You never know how an upgrade or a firmware download might stop or might be interrupted. And as a result of that, you need to reload your router settings. There's a multitude of things that could happen that you don't necessarily plan for but it's nice to have a backup of your router settings in those instances. And again, this is something that only takes a few minutes to do. So it's really worth your time to just take a backup of your router settings at a known good configuration. Okay, so let's go into the backup portion of your router settings. What do we need to do? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to navigate to our router's login page. And you do that by entering the IP address of your router, which you can find on the sticker on your router, or you can find it by going in and doing an IP config if you're a little more technical. But let's just keep it simple. I got my IP address from the sticker on my router an HTTP, it's 192.168.0.1. So I hit enter and it takes me to my login page. Next, obviously you have to log into your router settings. If you haven't previously changed your default password, you should be able to log in with the default password of your router. And if this is the case, I suggest you change it because there are a multitude of security issues if you use the default password on your router. That's for another time. Let's log in and look at the settings. Okay, now we're logged into our router and I have a TP Archer, a TP Link Archer A7 router. So your settings might be a little bit different, but the general concept will be the same. So let's follow through. I'm going to go to advanced settings because this is an advanced feature. 
OK. And from there, I can scroll down on this left hand side. And these are different categories of advanced features and advanced settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to System Tools, which will bring this little drop down here. And then the obvious choice is Backup and Restore. OK, so here we are at Backup and Restore. And this is pretty straightforward from here. As you can see, there's a backup option. So I'm going to select Backup. And what it does, you see it just downloaded a binary file of my router settings. So let's go ahead and see what that download looks like. OK. So here's what our backup looks like. As you can see, it's a binary file. It's tiny, 16 kilobytes. But this is the file that you can save wherever you want. You can save it on your local hard drive, on your computer. You can save it on a flash drive. You can save it on an, on an external hard drive, wherever you want. And that completes the process for the backup. So let's just say we wanted to restore those settings. What would we have to do? Well, that's pretty simple here. You just browse to the location. You select it, hit open. You'll see that file populates here. And then you can click Restore. And when you do that, you'll get a progress bar. And this will take a few minutes to complete, because basically what's happening is your router is reading that configuration file. It's saving those settings into its memory. And then it has to reboot to implement those settings and make sure that those settings are changed. And this process might take five minutes, but that's all it is. That's all you have to do. So it's really simple. If you have any questions or comments about this or would like to share your experiences with backing up and restoring your router, feel free to leave comments below. And also I invite you to check out the blog post that I wrote that accompanies this procedure. It's a little more detailed. It gives you a little bit more information. So I recommend you check that out as well. That's all I have for today. Thank you for checking out networkfromhome.com and we'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot.